Hello and welcome to this Android Studio and Kotlin tutorial. I'm Cal and today we're going to be creating a bottom sheet dialog or a bottom sheet modal. So to create a bottom sheet modal we basically have a main activity as well as a fragment that pops up so the fragment is the bottom sheet and what we're going to do is take some input from the user in our bottom sheet fragment and pass that to our main activity. We're going to do this using view model. So this is going to be part one of a longer series I do where we build an entire to-do list app. And if you're interested in continuing on with this to-do list, I'll leave a link in the description. Cool, so creating a new Android Studio project, select empty activity. I'm going to call the project to-do list tutorial. Hit finish and First thing we're going to do is head into the build gradle and enable view binding. So just typing build features and view binding is true. And then we just want to hit sync on our build gradle. We can close that off now and head into our main activity XML. We're going to change this parent linear layout to a relative layout. And inside here, we're going to insert a linear layout, which has the width and height of match parent. The orientation is vertical. And we just want to wrap our text view in that linear layout that we just created. We can remove the constraint layout constraints and we're going to change the text to task name. So this is just going to be the placeholder for the task on our activity. We're going to give it a style of title as well as some margin of 20 dp and layout gravity of center. We can copy paste that down. We just want a task description as well. And we're going to give both of our text views an ID, so task name and task description. And then below our linear layout, we're going to create an extended floating action button, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it's a material design floating button. It's going to have a width and height of wrap content. Text is new task. The ID is our new task button. Our background color is going to be our color primary. Text color is our color on primary. We're going to say align parent to the bottom is true, as well as align parent to the end true. So putting it in the bottom right hand corner. Padding 5 dp, margin 20 dp. And if we head into our res folder, we're going to create an icon for our button. So I'm just going to right click and say new vector asset. And then selecting on the clip art, I'm going to search for this add or this plus icon and just hit finish. I'm happy with the name. And now if we say icon, we can select our IC baseline add 24 that we just created. And then we can change the color of that. So just making the tint our color on primary as well. Nice. So what we want to work on next is our bottom sheet fragment. So I'm just going to say new fragment blank. I'm going to call the fragment our new task sheet. And I'm going to head into the XML for this file. I'm going to remove the to do, uh, change the parent layout to a linear layout. Orientation is vertical. Our text view, we're going to make height wrap content and the text we're going to say new task. The text size is going to be 30 SP and the style is going to be our title style as well. We're going to give it margin top 20 DP. Uh, margin start 20 dp also and below that text view we're going to insert a material design text input layout with a width of match parent and a height of wrap content vertical margin is 10 dp and the horizontal margin is going to be 20 dp and then inside our text input layout we're going to insert a text input edit text with a width and height of match parent id is going to be name the hint we're going to give name as well and we're going to give our text input layout a style. Um, we're just going to call this outline box dense. Cool. So we can copy and paste down the entire text input layout now because we just want to have another field for description. I'm just going to change the ID and the hint. And if we head up to our parent linear layout, we just want to make the height equal to wrap content. And I think I made a mistake when I copy and pasted and I just need to fix up the extra closing brackets. So the final thing left to add to our bottom sheet is a save button. I'm just going to type material button. It's going to have a width of match parent and a height of wrap content. Layout gravity is center and the layout margin horizontal is going to be 20 dp. The text we're going to give it save and just giving it an ID. So save button. And our description hint probably is better to type the full word description. Cool. So we can close off all of our layouts now. We're going to hit into our main activity Kotlin file. We're going to declare our private late init variable binding, which is of type activity main binding. Below our on create, we can say binding is equal to activity main binding inflate and just passing that through layout inflator. And we can set our content view with our binding root. Next, we're actually going to do our sort of very basic modeling. We're going to say new Kotlin class file. We're going to call it task view model. And our task view model is going to extend view model. We're going to give it a variable called name, which is mutable live data of type string. And we can paste that down because we're going to have a description as well. And now if we head back into our main activity Kotlin, 
we can do another private late init variable. This one's called task view model. Task view model we can initialize to task view model provider. The provider is going to be this activity. So the activity is going to own the task view model. And then we're going to say get task view model class. So the class we just created. And now we can say binding new task button set on click listener. So when we click on the new task button, we want to open up our new task sheet. So before we do that, we're going to head into our new task sheet fragment and we need to change it from fragment to bottom sheet dialog fragment. And now we can call our new task sheet and show. So show the fragment. And this requires two variables, one being a fragment manager. So we're just going to say support fragment manager and the other one being a tag. Uh, the tag, I think you can just put whatever you like in here. And I'm just calling this new task tag. Finally, in our main activity, we just want to update our text view anytime a change is made to the task view model. So we're going to say task view model name and then observe. The owner is this, so this activity. Our binding task name text is equal to string format. I'm just going to say task name and then pass it through it, so itself. So whenever the task view model name changes, we're going to change the name of our text view in our main activity. And we're just going to copy paste that down and do the exact same thing for the description. Cool. So we can head into our bottom sheet fragment class. So our new task sheet Kotlin, and I'm just going to declare a binding here as well. So this one's of our fragment new task sheet binding. We're going to declare a later init task view model as well. In our on create view, we're going to initialize our binding. When we call inflate on a fragment binding, we need to pass it through inflator as well as container and whether or not we want to attach, attach it to the parent, I'm just going to say false. And then we're going to return our binding root. In our one create, we're going to initialize our task view model. So the view model provider, the owner is our activity. So the activity that this fragment is attached to, which is our main activity. And then we're going to get our task view model class off of our binding save button. We're going to set an on click listener and we're going to create a a uh, function called save action. So inside our save action, we're going to assign our task view model name equal to the value of our edit text from our modal. So we're going to say task view model name value is equal to the binding name text to string. We're going to do the same thing for our description. And then we just want to set our name text view back to empty as well as our description text view. We're going to set that back to empty as well. And then finally, we're just going to call dismiss, which should dismiss our bottom sheet fragment. If we give this a test, let's create new task. And it seems like it's given me an error. So I'm just going to head into the log, uh, select error. And it looks like it's broken here on this line uh, on create. And I think I've used the wrong override function. I want on view created. So I'm just going to copy paste out all my code there and stick that back in. And if we build and run this again, you can see that when we click on a new task item, I'm going to create a new task called drink water and then we save that that's populated the text on our main activity so we're passing data from our fragment bottom sheet to our text view that's how you create a bottom sheet modal or bottom sheet dialogue in android studio using kotlin if you enjoyed the tutorial consider giving it a like this is going to be part one of a larger project where we build an entire to-do list app a link to the next video will be appearing on your screen or there'll be a link in the description below Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.